All right, hello everybody. And welcome back to Nexomon. Perhaps for the last time. Maybe. It's entirely possible. Let's it check our party. Possible. Everybody's full up on health. We are ready to go. So the time has finally come. It has been years since I last set foot in this place. As you may know, I was the previous Nexal Lord until the current one overpowered me in a mighty battle. The moment our battle begun, I knew I could not win. There was a fire in his soul that I had never seen before. Remember when you fought me? I saw a tiny spark in you. Has this spark become the fire our world needs? Let me see how much it has grown since our last battle and also explain why my character Sprite has a scar on his left eye and his portrait art has a scar on his right eye. Don't worry about it. It's mirrored, obviously. Come and show me the strength that I lacked against the next lord. Oh boy, it doesn't even allow me to use mouse controls. Mouse controls? I'm looking at the settings for the uh, next game. Ah. If it will allow me to go to settings without going straight into the game with no... Oh, oh no, that's no good. Is it not? It's like here. Here's the opening cutscene and everything, and it's loud. Uh oh, Alt F4. <laughs> <laughs> I just skipped it. <laughs> okay, that should be fine too. So I can run through it and get to the settings. Yeah. Why you send out water? Oh, you did a sh no. That's just a shield, not a block. Die now. You really just use fire. Hmm. Never punished. Sometimes punished. Oh wait, 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 wait. Never punished. Duh. Oh. Never punished. <laughs> How has this managed to happen? What? Okay, I'm swapping. Well. Okay, we're just gonna cut that. You can get all all buff as you like. You're still gonna die. Huh. What? <sighs> okay, we're swapping. Ow, but then also die. levels up. Things are good. Mm -hmm. Go forth, kid. We got a world to save. I will do that as soon as... Oh, I got fully healed. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, everybody leveled up. I didn't just get fully healed by the game. I just leveled up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, look, everybody's dead. Yep, gotta protect the tower. Oh. Oh, we still got a wild Nexomon out here. Hmm. I wonder if it's grinding time. Will this kill? Oh, that's much more efficient. If everything out here is just going to be electric, we are good to... Yeah, that would be nice, right? <laughs> that would be nice. Uh, would have been. Yeah.
Is it just this grass is fire? This grass is fire. It very well could be. It very well could be that this grass is fire. I'll continue to say that. All right. Uh, and this grass is... Oh, uh, mm -mm. I mean, it dies, but... Weird. All right, give me more fights. Give me more fights. This is easy. Easy level ups. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can get everyone to 60 and not even break the sweat, it seems like. Nice. Gotta get that level. Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're probably gonna need them. Uh considering probably, probably the guy we just probably. fought was higher level yeah. than, uh, barely <laughs> higher level than us. And you're still fire type. Uh do you die? Oh, I had nothing to worry about. So anyway, since we're immediately grinding up upon starting yeah. the stream, how would have you been doing? Uh, not much. I've been playing a game called Coral Island. It is essentially okay. Stardew Valley. Okay. Coral yes, Lives. yes, yes. I actually saw you playing that the other day. That's right. Yep. It's uh, it's got some nice, unique spin on the uh, whole Harvest Moon Stardew Valley kind of thing. Okay. You're on like a um, sort of like a tropical island sort of deal and it's being polluted and your goal is to clean up the nature uh just clean up the environment help nature and uh build a farm i guess like cool. uh, you, like as you as you do yeah so it's uh, it's pretty good it's got some issues i i actually i ran into one bug that froze me oh. and i had to use the stuck command that's in the ex escape screen menu <laughs> because they know and they put it there for a reason mm -hmm. um though i suspect what i ran into would be pretty unique considering it was me like spam clicking uh, the use of an item mm -hmm. and then it gave me um an item pickup and so after i picked up the item i was stuck in an animation and it didn't know how to get back and continue the animation after the uh the item pickup went away i see it was interesting because it was a uh, have you played stardew valley or like a harvest moon kind of nope. game okay um in those games sometimes you get like four geodes that have like random items in them sure and the game's like oh hey this is this random item you could take it to the blacksmith and open it you'll get like a random resource makes sense yeah and it's like this it's like a special little scene for showing you that one item and that was the item i had it stuck me on an animation <laughs> That was really amusing. So I highly suspect it probably will will not happen again. But it's amusing. I, I, I managed to come across that. Yeah. Um, all right. So what did I do this week? I beat Tales of Arise. Nice. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, I'd place it in like high mid tier for the Tales games I've played. OK. Um, like the top tier are, uh, I'd, I'd say Vesperia and honestly Berseria, even though I'm not the one playing it right now, if we're recording it on the channel, it's pretty good. Um, and then like just below those two, well, actually, I, I need to replay Graces, uh, to like remember if it was as good as I remember, you know, um. But then I'd, I'd put uh, Arise, like, right below those ones. And then... Uh, okay. Well, actually, I also don't remember Zillia that well. I'd maybe put Zillia right around there, too. And then the only other Tales game I've played is Symphonia, which, despite being, like, the classic, just... It was fine. <laughs> like, I, well, I, I don't... The combat system kind of turns me off. It's like, I, I tried playing it a little bit, and I will go back to it. But the 
the combat is odd. Which one, Symphonia? Yeah, that's that one. Mm. It's the oldest one, right? Uh, it's one of the oldest 3D ones, but there are 2D ones that are older. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like the oldest one that's on Steam, if you're aware. Yes, on um, Steam. Th on Steam. Okay, easily. yes. Yeah, so I went through, I was going to play all the older ones uh, first. I was playing them in chronological release order. How did um, what? Uh, what? Nice. You've ascended to the top of the log pile. Aha, uh -huh, I'm tall now. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need but to yeah, check on the grass up here. Yep. <laughs> It's like you control one character and you're like running at each other side, like not quite. Oh, so if you don't 2D. like the fact that when you like start attacking somebody, you run straight at them, you just change your uh, battle mode from semi-auto to manual and then they'll just attack when you hit the attack button. But that means you might not hit anything. Right. So you, you can adjust little, that. Yeah, it, it's older, so it's a little stiff. Uh, honestly, all the tails games, no. all the all the tails games do that. If you're if you're on semi-auto, you'll just if you attack if you push an attack button, you'll just run in a straight line at the enemy you're targeting and then start swinging. Okay, maybe I just need to try it out again. Yeah, or just try manual mode if you think it's it's more natural for you. Yeah. Either way, the next Lord's Tower. The champions, the next Lord, and Omnicron must be waiting in there. Yes, all six of them. No turning back now, huh? Are you ready to finish this? I mean, I'm sure there's turning back and healing. Let's go. Hmm, this will be fun to watch. Just two items immediately right in front of my face. Okay. The champion of mankind is come. Brethren of Olzar, step forth into my darkness eternal. Huh? What's wrong? What do you mean? I didn't see anything at all. Oh, that's always good. Come on, don't be afraid. Nobody's here. We have to keep moving. Um, hmm. Not suspicious at all. So anyway, yeah, so I beat uh, Tales of Arise. Um, you know, good time. You know, it, actually, you know what? If the older Tales games combat systems aren't for you, maybe try uh, actually Berseria or Arise. Because those have a different combat system. Oh. All right, we lost him. It's fine. I'm sure I'll come back. Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's over. It's over? They're hiding behind a pillar. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you catch what I said a minute ago? No, I, sorry. I must have missed it. Oh, I said if you try Symphonia again and you're like, no, nah, I really can't do it. Try Berseria or Arise. Because oh, they have okay. a different combat. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, I'll probably stick it out anyway, just to play it for the story. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's a good reason. The story of Tales games are generally pretty good. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Oh, did you see the Steam Awards? <laughs> uh, before we get into that, I also played one other game this week. It's called yeah. Star Shifter, and I can only describe it as a weird mix between uh, a Mario game and this one game that I don't know if it's anything other than Steam called Lost Ember. Interesting. So the premise of Lost Ember is you're playing as this like wolf, I think, and it can like shape shift into other animals if you find them nearby. You basically you basically Mario Cappy throw and like oh, take no. and like possess the other animal and then you can do stuff. Interesting. It's, it's not an actual Cappy throw, but you get what I mean. Uh, yeah. And then their story <laughs> happening. But anyway, and then like, so there's that aspect of Lost Ember. Lost Ember is like a walk and talk sort of game, right? Right. Where you're just you're just walking around, uncovering like the story, because it's like what happened. There's like some stuff happened, 
and like the story is like you finding out about events like in flashbacks until eventually you get to present day and then story goes on anyway so that part's cut out and it's more like a mario game you're collecting like literal stars going around and like helping gotcha. other things and yeah. it was all right cool. but it was um i also encountered my fair share of bugs in that one uh where like yeah. stuff wouldn't load until i restarted the game or like other weird stuff anyway it was good enough but like it's not something yeah. I'd, I'd go around recommending unless you like need more mario-esque stuff there wasn't even that much platforming anyway took you long enough scrub uh oh we're being we're being called scrub i see that you are still holding oh. on to those nexomon slaves despite understanding their true nature why is that because angry face your friends are you serious? Hmm. This is reminiscent of the day Olzar showed up to me. Such a naive human. Human. I'm done with games. This time my power will be unchained. Let's have a boss fight. Long, long ago. Father Omnicron once told me. The, that great warriors are forged in fire. And only fire. There can be no other thing. And it is the weak who fuel those flames. Okay, boss fight. I am opening with my nature type. <laughs> Free from Ulsar's chains. The third child of Omnicron is reborn. I am Fona of the Undying Fire. And I am sending out the thing weak to fire first. Ack, what's with this heat? We must endure. Do not falter. Have a boss fight. Brethren of Ulsar's, show me what kind of warrior will be forged from this fire. It's actually fine that I'm sending out my, my my guy that's gonna die first because I will get off the drill hit and its defense yeah. will be lowered. All right. Boop. So we we said we said something about the Steam Awards. Sure did. I will read them out. Get ready. As as, uh, as they come, I'm starting with the sit back and relax award. It goes to Dave the Diver. Surprising. Surprising. To no one because it's an amazing game. Apparently, I haven't played it yet, but it's it's really good. You like go explore the depths of an ocean, you harvest fish, and then you like prepare them, and then you serve them to customers in like a sushi um, bar at at a pier. That is it's also really my nice. understanding. Yep. Um, outstanding story rich game award, Baldur's Gate 3. Again, very surprising to absolutely no one. A, yep. Nobody. Great game. We will eventually get to it <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Best soundtrack award, The Last of Us Part 1. I haven't listened to the soundtrack of the game, but yeah, I've heard, I, can't, I think, one. I can't make any judgments on that, but I've heard people I, like I it. I believe it. I believe it. it it's, I hear that this is probably probably a good choice there. Now, now, if you compare, like, my, my only thing is, but Hi-Fi Rush is right there. Yeah. It's so I guess, game that I is guess, soundtrack, so. I, I guess it's that good. Look, people have tastes. And I, I accept that this is uh, yeah. deserving of the best yeah, soundtrack I, I, award. I, yeah, I'm not saying. Yeah, I'm not saying, I'm not saying Last of Us does not deserve this. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm. I'm like I understand it. It's it, it's probably it probably deserves it. Um, best game you suck at award. And uh, one, one moment. One. Gasp, gasp. Yeah. <laughs> of course. No, I knew it would end this. No, that's like the ground he shattered when he turned into phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Your friends, huh? Oh, he dead. It's over. Is it over? Where did he go? There's no time to waste. The other overseers are fighting against the rest of the champions as we speak. Go! Only you can save them. But first... Oh. Oh, you're really doing that to me, huh? Okay. They really did just revive my whole team. I'm not even going to need all these items you're throwing at me. Yeah, who knows? You eventually. Yeah, Best eventually. Best team you stuck at. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Sifu. I haven't personally played the game. It's a beat -em up martial arts game. I purged this world of your filthy brethren millennia ago. Today, this war comes to an end. Okay. That's cool and all.
Yeah, so it's like a yep. third person action brawler. Yep. Beat him up. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, most. He's, uh, he's crying or something. What was yeah. I thinking? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> they are real, literal monsters. That water girl, Merida. You go ahead. I'm not going anywhere until you clear the path. Okay. Oh, and we're fighting. What are we fighting? Uh, it's dead. He has money next to him. Because of course he does. Angry face. I hear that you've defeated Fenrir. That fool has grown too old for this war. I say that you've become a real warrior. There's a fire in you that matches the Nexo Lords. But then again, all fires can be extinguished. Free from Olzar's chains, the fifth child of Omnicron is reborn. I am Arqua of the Oceans, even though we already had this fight. Oh, brethren of Olzars, oh, no. let your fire clash against my tides. Angry face. And this time I have the correct type up front. Boop. Hmm. I think I'll go for the defense down. Doesn't seem to be doing much. Anyway, now you can continue with your, uh... Yes. <laughs> the most innovative gameplay award goes... Well, went to... Starfield! Huzzah! Yay. So innovative. So innovative. Let's talk about that after I get through the rest of them. Outstanding visual style award goes to Atomic Heart, which... Yeah, I can see that. Okay. It's like the, um, uh, do you know Atomic Heart? No. It was like sort of steampunky, futuristic tech, uh, like Soviet Russia, after, if they took over the world or whatever. Okay. It's interesting. Um, the Better With Friends Award goes to Lethal Company. Sure. I've yet to play it. It's really good. Um, I'm waiting on a group of friends to play it with, because it's, it's better with friends. Yeah. Anyway, dead. Dead. So you know, no speak, dead. Well, well, well. It appears you are not as mighty as you seemed. <laughs> I think I was phased by that transformation. Preposterous. You have no idea what you were fighting against. Where did she go? Hmm, never mind that nuisance. Well, what are you waiting for? The other peasants must be waiting up ahead. I will cheer for you while you take care of them. Oh, I, you know what? This entire time in this room, I didn't realize there was a staircase right there. I thought we'd somehow have to go to the right. <laughs> Interesting. It's um, fine. The, the next award is the best game on Steam Deck. Sure. Goes to Hogwarts Legacy. Um, an interesting okay. choice, that one. E you know what? It's not something I've tried to play on Steam Deck because I don't own it, so I can't say. Fair. But... An interesting choice. Yeah. Anyway, my awakening will be your demise. My ascension will be your downfall. You are but a stepping stone in my coming to power. Okay. Again, all these cool items that I just yeah. haven't needed. And perhaps the next uh, most controversial award, um, the Labor of Love Award. Um, let me read out the sub subtitle thing or like the little description. Is, this game has been out for a while. The team is well past the debut of their creative baby, but being the good parents they are, the devs continue 
to nurture and support their creation. This game to this day, um, to this day is still getting new content after all these years. That game is Red Dead Redemption 2, apparently. It is currently dead with no content. Getting back to that well, in a minute. Okay, hang on. Dead well, no, for uh, no no new content. Yeah, I was gonna say decided to drop dead for a single player game doesn't quite work, content. But um, yeah, um, um, no new content. Yeah, yeah. VR game of the year award goes to Labyrinthine or Labyrinthine. Labyrinthine, yeah. Sure. I haven't played it. Don't know of it. Seems interesting. And the game of the year award according to Steam. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 again very good yeah Makes so sense. uh so I I would just like to uh point out that Red Dead Redemption 2 the one that won the uh Labor of Love um yeah award uh eight. actually has had 24 patches okay it's interesting. Uh, with the latest being March 2023. So it was patched often enough. Well, actually, I say that there's a bunch of patches in 2020, a couple in 2021, two in 2022, two in 2023. I don't know what these patches Where's... contain. Oh, now I can see it. Um, looks like this one was just some shaders. This one was some shaders, a Rockstar Social Club update. Uh, you know, I don't think there were any like content drops though <laughs> on this game. Yeah. I think these are like that bug was, fixes yeah. and shader updates. That's the problem people are seeing with this award. So, okay. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I just that for for that info, I just looked at the Steam DB, um, what you call it? Uh, yeah, yeah steamdb.info and looked at the patches. So, yeah, what, moving on. Other than right. that, the, the biggest one there is the Starfield. Oh, yeah, no, it it truly it truly innovates by making Skyrim go to space. Yes, anyway, ah. You can now have Skyrim on your space fridge. Ah! How'd he do that? Well, he, uh, you see, being the main character, you can't jump, but everybody else can. But that's cheating. Great. <laughs> now I'm weak. Now, now I'm sending out something weak again. It'll die. That's fine. Humans have always proven to be a major pest in our ascension. But that's all they were. A pest. Only one true warrior rose among the rats. Ulzar is a name our kind curses even beyond the grave. But the hero found demise. For a misplaced trust he had. Rather than fighting alongside his own brethren, he chose to befriend our kind. Nexomon, as you call us. Tell me now, will you trust your Nexomon friends until the very end? Angry face! Come to me, champion of mankind. Let us relive this battle of legend. Also a fight we've had before. Yeah. Free from Olzar's chains, the second child of Omnicron is reborn. I am Ventra of the Tempest. Angry face. Dead. You underestimate me, O oh, brethren of Olsars. This is the end of all journeys. Let the winds of Ventra guide you to oblivion. No. Angry face. I fight. You fight a lost and hopeless battle. Now you will perish. He is not alone. Daughter of Omnicron falls today. 
falls. Sorry, but we can't let this story end here. Wake up, kid. This ain't the time to rest. Not yet. Come on now. Think of all the fans. Human rats. You gather to share a doomed fate. As long as I spread my wings, Ulzar's brethren shall rot under my shadow. Have Khan's strength. Have Khan's power. My clairvoyant shows a bright future, and you will lead us there. All the miners from the desert are rooting for you. Don't let them down, kid. There'll be no one left to listen to my music if you let Omnicron do what he wants. Wake up! Angry face! Oh, I jumped. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> Everything I know is a lie. Show me what you got, warrior of mankind. Now we will have the actual angry face battle. Angry. Oh, I jumped again. Angry face. What? What is this absurdity? Angry face. What is this mockery? Oh, no. Angry <laughs> face. Or wind walls. Power through them with sheer anger. Or just get wind pressure resistance. Anyway. Uh, well, accessories. Yeah. Did you really just... Oh, it didn't... Oh, it did fit. <gasps> Wait, what? Wow. A legendary not immune to status effects? What's happening right Getting now? This... Never punished, apparently. Rewarded, actually. <laughs> Rewarded greatly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you have the power to apply status effects to bosses. You were too strong. Oh, it failed. Can't okay, okay, I should I should just I should just get in there. I should just get in there. I we really need to just do damage. Oh, but the accuracy drop coming in clutch. Ooh, it reduce attack power. Don't mind if I do. Oh, you're gonna heal yourself for 44? I'm so scared. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I'm out of stamina. Oh, it healed for 31. Okay, you know, I think we'll live. That accuracy drop came in so clutch. And we're done, just like that. Nice. Come closer, child. The battle that lies ahead is one that you cannot win. Your kind will be obliterated by the might of Father Omnicron, but you have proven to be a true warrior after all. Good job. What? Why are you surprised? That's the third time this happened. Only one guardian remains. Almighty Luxa of the Thunder awaits. End is close. We must end. Yes.